this thing has two gyros. It has the ICM gyro and MPU 6000 gyro, and you can switch back and forth as you please. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new flight controller from Dal RC and it's called the F722 Dual Flight Controller. Now this one's pretty interesting actually. It has a couple unique features which I'm really excited about and they have gone ahead and uh, stepped up their game since their last flight controller and all-in-one flight controller. So let's get started. Now first of all, let's get this guy open. Alright, so here we have the Dal RC F7. Now this is the F7 flight controller with an ICM gyro and an MPU 6000 gyro, which is really, really great and really good. And why is that? Well, because you can switch between them as you please through the Betaflight uh, CLI commands. There's a little, you could put like, I think it's called set gyro and then you put first. First would be the MPU 6000, second would be the ICM. It's in the documentation. I'll leave a link to it down below. So this one is a step up also. Now why do I say that? First of all, they've gone ahead and removed the pins from the flight controller here. Because a lot of people were just complaining and complaining. Ah, oh, the pins will break. Ah, oh, the pins will break. So they've actually listened and they've set up a wire here. So this would connect to the, your, uh, let's just say your Dal RC engine or your Dal RC rocket. Now I think the engine is slightly different. But let's go ahead and grab the rocket here. So I do have the rocket and the rocket we'll have this video upcoming later on, uh, probably in the next video where we're gonna be testing it. So this is Dell RC Rocket, I think the 50 amp version. There's two versions. This is right up to a 6S. And um, what they do now, instead of connecting via pins, they're gonna connect via connectors. Now I've gone ahead and removed this for the review part so we can see what's going on in here. Um, so as you can tell here, it's just using a connector. And if you didn't want to use a connector with the Dell RC Rocket, which we'll be in a later video, they even have pads for it. So we'll come back to this later on. So this is the first obvious improvement, is that they've switched out from pins to connector types. Now another thing is, the previous flight controllers I believe and as I remember, it didn't have any of the voltage regulators on board and it relied on the Dal RC engine or some sort of a PDB if you weren't using the engine at the time. Now if we flip this guy over, it has both a 5 and a 9 volt regulator on board and it's a proper, proper uh, voltage regulators here and they can take up to a 10S. However, keep in mind, this is not an all-in-one flight controller. This is just a flight controller. So that, just keep that in mind before purchasing it. And another thing, as I mentioned, it's using the F7 flight controller, the F7 microcontroller unit, which means it's a lot faster and it's a lot more powerful than the previous F4s. So you will be able to handle most, if not all of the upcoming beta flight features and filters and all of those kind of crazy good stuff. So taking a look at the board, it's pretty light. They do, this is all they provide you with. They give you the wire here. Uh, so it does have its rubber grommets to keep it overall damped here. All right, so if we were to connect this into a quadcopter, the best way to do it is to set this like so. This would be the forward. You can totally see that from the air right there, which means uh, the whole configuration of this board is meant as if to be put into quadcopter like this. You have your micro USB on the side and you have your boot button on the left here. Now, if you take a look up at the front, I really, so far the layout looks pretty good. The front here has the ground, the, the voltage for the camera, and the camera input, and as well as you could control the camera OSD through this right there, F-CAM, if you could see that. And we here we have this little bridge right here. You could bridge it between 5 volt and 10 volt. So you can give the camera through here either a 5 and a 10 volt. Currently it's bridged on 5 volt, which I really love, and it's really recommended to keep that on 5 volt. All right, so, oh, sorry, in the beginning of the video, I said nine volt regulator, it's a 10 volt regulator. Um, I think it's a 10 volt. Yeah, it's a 10 volt regulator, sorry about that. All right, so let's take a look at the backside now. Let's see what we have here. So what do we have is a ground five volt LED. So if you wanted to connect your LED, this is where you would connect it. This would be the signal of your LED, and this obviously would be the power for the LED. Next, we have the buzzer minus and the buzzer positive. So if you were to connect the buzzer, that's where you would go ahead and set that up. And here, what we have is RX4 and TX4. So this would be UART4 if you wanted to use it for something. Now let's take a look at the big side here. Now this is the interesting side. All right. So let's say I wanted to connect my VTX. How am I going to go about doing this? Well, very simple. What we have is they have set up a ground right here and this would be 10 volt and you can switch it to 5 volt for some reason if you wanted to, but I like that it's default on 10 volt. So this would be the power for your VTX, which would be 10 volt. VTX would be the yellow wire that goes here because then 
the yellow wire from the camera goes here, pops through this OSD and hits that VTX and then comes down to your goggles. Here we have a TX5 and RX5 and these would probably be used if you had like some sort of smart audio or something of that nature to control your VTX, which is really nice and thoughtful that they put these pads next to it. So if you wanted to control that, you can go ahead and do that. Now for SBUS and IBUS, you can connect them all in the same pad, which I believe would be RC right here. So you put ground 5 volt RC, and this has an automatic inverter inside, so it can invert whether it's SBUS and IBUS, which makes it really easy back to the F3 flight controller days. So you don't have to worry about uh, whether you're using IBUS or SBUS or inverted or uninverted. So this is really nice here. And here we have a couple UARTs if you wanted to use them. And obviously if you're using Spectrum, you have a ground and a 3.3 volt and you would still connect your signal right there. And if you wanted to use RX2, especially you could use you could use any pad basically here, which is really nice with the F7 flight controls. Not only do they give you speed, they also have automatic inbuilt inverters, which are really nice to have. And again, this thing has two gyros. It has the ICM gyro and MPU 6000 gyro, and you can switch back and forth as you please. You can see how much, you know, how good your quadcopter is in terms of noise. Maybe you can set that ICM gyro and then pump, bump it up to 16K and you're flying beautiful, which is really cool. And if you're just having problems, drop it down to the normal MPU 6000 gyro and you're good to go. So this flight controller is really, it's really nice to be honest. Now theoretically here, it's really nice. I, I'm really uh, liking the, the options that it has because it has basically everything you want except an SD card expansion. Now some people might want an SD card expansion, but you know, there isn't any, but you know, there's only so much they could put here. As you can tell, you got your five volt and your nine volt. It does have pretty good filtration, somewhat minimal, but should be totally fine. And if you weren't gonna use the Dell RC rocket, or I think engine, I don't know if the engine will has work with the same connector. Uh, you can go ahead and access these through here, which is also a huge plus. I hate using wires if I don't have to. I like to solder straight to pads. It's a lot easier for me. So this is really nice, and um, this has huge potential, and I can't wait to actually test this with this guy. But first, I need to go ahead and start with the ESC testing video. I have a couple ESCs to test. For example, the Hobbywing, the G2, the new one. Uh, the Sunny Sky Power Kit and as well as this and I think something else as well. I'll just double check that later on But yeah, so overall this thing looks like an absolute beauty um, It has everything you want which is really nice because it's an F7 I know a lot of people want to go for F7 all oh, but the, everything with the ICM gyro and they're afraid to get into it But this would be the perfect platform to jump into F7 and ICM gyro because you could switch back and forth between the gyros and um, Dal RC you did a hell of a great job and um, this is just beautiful. Now, hopefully it'll perform in the field and time will tell. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I'll leave a link to everything down below. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.